Hello and welcome. This will be my review of the Adeptus Astartes Death Watch Kill Team um, box set. I think it costs about £22, something like that. Great looking models, great new sprue in here. Just wish they'd had a new sprue for, well, at least the Terminator box set, if anything. Maybe the Vanguard set, but there's a lot of weapons in here that you can just grab and use in the Vanguard set. I'm going to say straight away, because this is a, a review as well, um, that it was disappointing to learn that, yes, while the set comes with two power maces, two storm shields and two heavy thunder ha hammers, it only comes with one Infernus heavy bolter, one frag cannon and one stalker pattern bolter. And it's got two shotguns, I think. But that's quite disappointing. I would have liked to have seen like a spear of five stalkers and maybe two of each of those uh, heavy weapons. Because as it stands, I know this kit is quite cheap, but I think that reflects that with the options that you get or, you know, don't get. I mean, yes, you could still buy a Vanguard set, Assault Squad set, even a Tactical Squad and use a lot of these um, weapons in it. But it's just an important note to make uh, that you, if you were planning on having a squad of five of these with four uh, frag cannons, you can't really. You'd need to get four or five boxes of these just to get one squad. Um, with your desired weapon, which is a shame. Nonetheless, this is the set and this is the new sprue. This is the sprue that came out with the um, Death Mask set. You get your five 32mm bases, your instructions, and these are the two sprues. We'll just, we'll just have a look at them straight away. So, uh, no change from the Death Mask set. Apologies for the lighting, I'm sort of like in a conservatory, so that's just where the beam is but hopefully you can see the detail. So you've got your Infernus heavy bolter, you've got your two shotguns there, you've got your different legs. They've all got the eye symbol on them. I mean, you could shave that off and use them as normal. Space Marine legs, I mean, they're all Mark 8 power armor. So if you wanted a, a company or a few squads of Mark 8 armor, this is your best place to get them. I think the Stern Guard have Mark 8 too. Uh, you've got all of these little uh, shoulder pads, a lot of shoulder pads. I count 17, 18 if you include the black shield there, and then you get your uh, five death watch shoulder pads, you get your power sword that says honor, your stalker pattern bolter, your power mace, sis, and your frag cannon. So that's that, that sprue, you get a storm shield, power mace, storm shield there. And then this is the other sprue, again another power sword, you get your xenophase sword, you get all of these back chest pieces that have the combat blades on, it's excellent and you get these lovely power packs with your built-in sort of target to sensors. You get enough um, options here to build a combi weapon of your choice. You get your front armour pieces. All of them have an eye somewhere on. Even the one on the skull has an eye on the skull. And then you get your massive heavy thunder hammers too. And you get the extra sort of ammunition types that you can just put on the front of the armour. Helmet wise, you get all of these Mark 8 variant helmets with the sort of blunted um, front face grille. It's not anything separate, it's sort of moulded into the, the helmet itself, which it sort of needs to be if it fits um, behind the gorget or the high collar of the Mark 8 chest, chest plate. And you get a few um, helmetless heads too and you get a sort of a cloak. I don't think I used a cloak on uh, my Death Mask one, so that'll definitely be I'll be going for that and I probably will be using the, the hooded figure, maybe even some of the helmetless uh, heads. So there you go, that's the two sprues. What I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to put my death mask models on here and show you those models and uh, give you the rest of my review. So join me in part two. And welcome to part two. So here I have all of my death watch kill team assembled. Uh, you may notice that there are 10 instead of 5. I'll explain the reason why in a moment. So these are the models um, complete. So the, the front 5 are the ones that I made. So I went for this uh, Death Watch dude in the cloak and um, cloak over his head. Um, I suppose it's a bit better um, protection than just nothing on him. But still, I do question why they go around without helmets on. Um, they've got all this armour. And then it's negated by, you know, like a simple headshot. But I suppose they do move move quicker and they're quite taller as well. So maybe, you know, you have to aim up and then they've got this gorget which protects sort of half their face anyway. But still, really nice model. 
Uh, I've I've gone for the the Xenophase sword and the Combi Plasma. Obviously, he still gets his special ammunition. Uh, really nice looking model. I've put them all on these um, lovely bases, and he's sort of like running forward, pointing pointing at the enemy. And then I've just gone a bit um, frag cannon Infernus heavy bolt her happy really I didn't use a frag cannon in the box set of the death mask so what I've done is I've just used that and um, so I made two of them one's just firing it like a las cannon because that's sort of like the new rules for it and this guy he's just you know walking walking with it if anything his pose actually looks better as if he's firing it and um, than him but still there we go minor tools and I think they're the griffins not not 100 percent sure lovely lovely model so so there you go that's those uh, and then i use the infernus heavy bolter again he's probably just laying suppressing flames down he's salamander of course of course and then this guy he's just about to lay the smack down he's just walking forward about to swing or is in mid swing at that power mace while keeping that storm shield protecting his uh, main body and he's a black shield so there you go so they're the five I made with the exception of sort of like the frag cannon that I used from the other the other set and then what I did is I had five uh, space marines that I hadn't made I didn't buy any extra I just had them lying around so what I did is I used the other parts in the kit I didn't use any shotguns in the in the last set so hence why there's four shotguns there um, but they're really cool looking models. I really like the shotguns. They've got some great rules as well. So we obviously you've got up close and personal um, Space Warfare. I've forgotten the name of that one. But he's sort of got like a tunic on. Knight helmet going on as well. Just normal backpacks that I found. That's the thing. If, if you're going to combine it or kit bash it with another set, you're not going to have the little ore specs things from the power packs. Um, and you're going to have different legs and different chest chest plates um, so just just bear that in mind and then I've got two other shotgun guys this this guy's all obviously just about to end someone that's on the floor maybe Imperial Fist and then this guy White Scar he's got a nice little laurel going on maybe I should have put a bald headed with a top knot for this White Scar but uh, but there you go so two two nice shot nice other Death Watch shotgun blokes and this guy in an all right pose sort of issuing a challenge or whatever he's got his stalker pattern bolter um, and what I've done is I've actually glued a clip on it because the one that comes with the set has the clip out and it's the guy reloading it actually this guy <laughs> I just had next to me so he's, he's about to reload it or, or whatever whereas this guy I've put a clip in that stalker pattern bolter and um, he's just got a power sword and he'd be sort of like the sergeant uh, so there you go lovely little set but obviously it does have its shortcomings, like I said before at the start, you only get one frag can and you only get one Infernus bolter and you get two shotguns, two, two power mauls. It does have its shortcomings in its ability to, to kit bash, unlike say the Devastator box set which is still one of my favourite box sets because it comes with two of every heavy weapon which is just just fantastic. You know, two last cannons, two plasma cannons, it's just, you can kit bash the hell out of that, that set. And the stern guard set again you can just take two lots and kit bash that however this this set so you can kit bash it with a with another set but just be wary that you might not have enough of the shoulder pads in a way it might be worth you getting another box of five or ten normal space marines and uh, a vehicle um probably the cheapest would be a you know venerable dreadnought i think or normal dreadnought that's a death watch one that has that upgrade sprue with the eight um, shoulder pads or whatnot that might be a better way to go about it um, and I personally wouldn't make any death watch without those shoulder pads I think they're an integral part of of the models uh, it's not so much that it has to have the little star on the skull there you could have any arm and then paint it silver but the shoulder pad is is, is a pretty much of a must so there you go that is the end of my unboxing and review thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the Emperor Protects